Hello Internet, welcome to Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to do a batch insert. What is a batch insert? Well, a batch insert is a way that you can enter multiple number of records at once to the database. So right now, if you remember the lesson number 45, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. What we do is we import an Excel sheet and we insert those data, those rays to the database doing like this branch by creating a branch object and then assigning the details uh, to the branch. Uh, so the company's company ID, we add it, we get the value from the Excel sheet and add it there and finally we save it. So what happens? So this is very bad way of doing this. So if you uh, take 10,000 rows uh, Excel sheet that has 10,000 rows, we will be creating 10,000 branch objects and we will be sending 10,000 queries insert queries to the database This is very bad. You might know that there is a way that we can have insert multiple number of records to a database with only one query So, so that's what we are going to do today. So we need to uh, in ye uh, It has it provides a special function that allows us to do this makes it really easy so let's take a look at this function first. So it's called the batch insert. Okay. So to call this, we just first have to put e colon colon dollar app and get the db instance and do a create command and batch insert. Finally, we have to execute this batch insert. So that is the final function. Now this batch insert takes in three parameters. The first parameter is the table name. So the table name in this location is branches. Okay. The next col next argument is the number of columns. So we have the branch ID as a column. We have company's company ID as a column. Next we have branch name as a column and a branch address branch oops create a date bring this down and I'm going to bring this down as well so you can see it properly next we have the branch status so those are the columns that we have status now the third argument so this is the first argument this is the second argument parameter and finally we have we have to add the array so data array so I'm going to put data and let's create that array so I'm going to uh, create that array so first let's initialize data as an array before the for loop now let's do data and each row will be an array so these are going to be multiple number of arrays within the main array so the first thing is the branch ID so let's get that and put it here next is the company's company ID so that's in this data column and we have branch name so branch name just make sure that it has to match okay the branch ID company's ID branch name branch address and get the date like so so in the previous example uh, when I did the lesson I made a few mistakes uh, the first mistake was uh, I removed the branch uh, date column and for no particular reason because actually the way Excel stores dates are different so when you read it uh, it gives us a uh, different string not the date as we can see it so that's why it gave that 40 something uh, value so that's uh, so you can't do that uh, read dates from Excel sheet you need to do something special to do that okay so that is one mistake I did and the next mistake was why uh, you might see uh, cannot be inserted because branch uh, company's company ID is not there. That is because in the for loop, uh, it goes to the whole 10 rows, but we have only data for only three rows. 
so the others were empty so we just have to skip those as well okay so branch status let's add that and finish this off so so to skip uh, the empty rows what we do is if the branch ID this is empty just skip it we want to create that row to the array only if the branch ID is not empty okay so not empty add it and this is our data array so let's take a look at how this data array looks so do printr data to die as well so we won't insert it and refresh to check it yeah we get this nice array so we have array let's bring this up array and within that array we have another arrays three of those so because we have three rows and the data is there inserted nicely now wish to remove this and check our batch insert again e app db create command batch insert is the function first argument is the name of the table that you are inserting branches in this occasion and next are the columns in that table that you have to insert data to finally we have the array that we created nice let's run this let's save this and run this okay we get okay so we have three rows inserted oh we get six we shouldn't get six why is that only three should be inserted oh this is also happening sorry <laughs> just remove this very bad to have again a lot of memory usages and lot of insert queries very 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 bad don't do it do it this way that's why we were inserting it twice so again check it remove delete one last time check it okay we get the three rows only one query much better way of doing it okay so that's it for this lesson i hope you enjoyed and i hope you the mistakes that i have done before and correct yourselves as well i uh, hope you enjoy this one do share do like and do subscribe and thank you for watching have a good day